YouTube traffic sources explained. That's what's coming up. Hey, it's Brian G. Johnson here, and on behalf of myself and Nico at Morning Fame, welcome. So let's talk about breaking down the YouTube analytics, specifically traffic sources. Because when you understand where the views are coming from, it's easy to drive more of them allowing you to grow your audience. Now on the mobile app, you're gonna wanna access analytics and then discovery. Do that and then you'll see traffic sources at the top of your screen. Now if you're on a desktop computer, you'll access analytics and then traffic sources. Statistically speaking, there are three types of traffic sources that drive the most views here on YouTube. So these are the ones you really wanna focus on and they are search, suggested and browse locations. Now first, let's talk about YouTube search. By far the easiest way to get views to your YouTube channel is to leverage YouTube search. Very simple to do so. All you need to do is think to yourself, hey, what kind of video am I gonna create? And then look for the type of keyword phrases that viewers are searching for on YouTube to find the video you'll create. And you'll wanna begin your YouTube title with that keyword phrase. Really simple really easy to do and can help you drive a lot of views. And I've got a super powerful tip that'll help you drive even more views through YouTube search. But next up, let's talk about suggested video views. If YouTube search is the easiest, well then the suggested traffic source holds the most possibility for driving crazy amounts of views to your YouTube channel. And here on the desktop, you can see these are actually suggested videos located here. And if you watch YouTube on a mobile device, a phone that is, that's a very old phone. Well, the suggested videos will show up below the video you're currently watching. And suggested views on YouTube can come from your own videos or from other creator videos. Now here's what's up. A lot of people think they get this idea in their head that YouTube search, if I'm gonna optimize for search, I'm optimizing for only search. And that couldn't be further from the truth. Here, you're looking at some results where I search for iMovie effects iPhone. That's a real search term that people are searching for. And I've got a number of videos ranking for that. If I click on the number one result, you'll notice I have two additional videos showing up in the suggested sidebar. And that helps me drive more of my own views through suggested video views. Fantastic. But let's talk about the real magic. That happens when your video shows up on another creator's video watch page, just like what you're looking at now. Now, as you can see, my video for TubeBuddy is actually showing up in the up next location in suggested video views. And that's powerful because the up next video auto plays after the video the viewer's watching comes to an end. Oh, and that tip I mentioned, notice the title of this video includes the word TubeBuddy and so does my video that's listed in up next. And now let's talk about browse. Now the thing to think about when it comes to browse and that is primarily made up of your subscriber base. And as you publish videos, your video will be sent out to a percentage of the viewers subscribers that is to your channel who have shown an interest over the last seven days, 28 days. YouTube measures this by how many videos they've watched, how often they return to your channel and so on. The more a subscriber is engaged with your channel, well, the more likely your recently published video is gonna show up on their homepage. And again, that's the browse traffic source. Now, here's where Browse gets really interesting. Imagine you've got a subscriber base and not everybody that's subscribed is a huge fan. You know, some people they subscribe, they watch a few videos, they appreciate you, but they're not rabid fans. But when you publish a video that those subscribers absolutely love and viewers click on the video, they watch the majority of the video, then YouTube is gonna be more likely to send out your video to more and more of your subscriber base. Here's a little bonus tip. Bonus. Think less about your YouTube channel. Think more about the audience you want to attract and the videos you'll publish to make that happen. You can't really grow a channel. You can attract an audience and the more you think about who it is you want to attract with your YouTube channel, the more likely you'll connect with a group of people 
and you'll start driving the results here after. Now here's that bonus tip I mentioned. Check out the video in the YouTube card right there that will help you drive lots more views through YouTube search. Oh, and if you're new to the channel and you wanna grow an audience on YouTube, then make sure to subscribe. Click on the yellow morning fame icon to do just that. I'll see you next time. You dig?